Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Today guys, well first things first is I'm waiting for this block to despawn because I am marking out my spawn chunks. Um, I'm going to need a rather big storage facility, so let's go ahead, let's finish waiting for this block to despawn and I'll show you guys what it's all about. Um... I found myself a really, really cool spot to build my base at, and the spawn chunks, they're going to bedrock, guys. I want a perimeter, and it's coming down. Um, I'm going to have to tear down my iron farm and rebuild that thing. I'm going to keep an eye on Tango's channel and also Il Mango's for really nice really really good iron farm tutorial and maybe even a few others and see if we can get a uh, gold farm an iron farm i want to get a coal farm up and going we'll have to uh, visit the nether again and find ourselves a uh, soul sand valley with a nether fortress inside of it and inside that nether fortress guys we'll have to find a uh, well, we'll need to build a uh, wither farm, and there it is. It despawned. All right, let's go. Do, 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 do. All right, blocks, blocks, blocks. Hello, portal. Um, blocks around that one, blocks around that one, blocks around that one, blocks around this one, and not on that one. Okay, then we knock out this. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, put a granite block right on top of this. All right. That marks out that one. So, all right. That's our portal over there that we were using before to get back and forth from the nether. I'm in creative for this, guys, because it helps me uh, locate my spawn chunks a little bit better. So, I'm going to go ahead and knock all of this out. Um, let's go ahead and get these uh, grid lines off for you guys. All right, so this is our another portal that we started using before. Um, over here is where we initially began our base. Um, you can see, guys, you know, we have put a lot of work in, not a lot of work, you know, it's beginner stuff. All right, it's all the beginner stuff. And over here, we got our granite block on top of this one to mark out this how many chunks over this one is. So this one goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 chunks out this way. Cool. Uh, which means one of these is 9 chunks and one of them is 11. Um, I have them all marked out 13 chunks going in each direction. Um, so yeah, I'm in creative just to mark this out and I'm going to continue doing this, but I want to show you guys where my new base is going to be at. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys where it's going to be at because I have to pull all this stuff out of here and relocate it over there. Except for the iron farm, I'm going to have to uh, tear that down here eventually. And I will be doing all of this stuff here in survival. Just marking the spawn chunks out in creative for right now. Um, if we continue going on in this direction, you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll just head out, okay? We're just going to follow this wing the whole way out there. Um, unfortunately, it does cut all the way out here towards the village. So, you know, we'll re we'll figure out the roads and all that other stuff and things later on. Um, the spawn chunks, the reason I want... This is where my base is going to be. Right here in the dead center. Okay, it's going to be dead center right here in the middle. Alright, so that whenever we do our roads and all that stuff and things, guys, maybe we have roads going in around going in that direction and over there or maybe we have land bridges and stuff and things but hopefully all this stuff connects i haven't really explored all of that um so we'll figure that out as time goes along but what i want to be able to do over here guys is i want to go around this entire base bring all my stuff over here i want to come out here expand this out a little bit um bring darks I want to come up 
with what is that stuff a deep slate i want to bring up deep slate um, walls bring it all the way up as high as we can um, bring deep slate walls and mix them with some dark oak and some stone some stone bricks and some tough and make it look like it has a really nice good brace to it and we'll bring it up maybe to about that line right there and we'll just go ahead and just shave it off and we'll use the re excess dirt to fill this in over here on this side and from there we'll uh we'll just start to begin a really cool base structure over in here we're not going to work on that today okay what i want to do today is i want to finish up doing my uh, there's that other lava pool i knew i seen that thing somewhere what i want to do is i want to finish up marking my spawn chunks and getting these things taken care of i do need to move things over but I wanted to show you guys how I'm marking my spawn chunks because, all right, we already did this wing. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. We're going to place this one right here. So I know I went in that direction. Um, I really don't need that there. Um, that's just to mark it off that we've done that. So we have, we're pretty much, I'm just going to mark this off in the uh, four directions. Like, so we did that way. All right, now we got to go this way, this way, and this way, and that way. So I got myself a stack right here, guys. Let's go ahead in this direction, and let's see how far this one is. I'm going to go forward. And whoops. Uh, can we go in a straight line? Give me that. Give me that. There we go. What we want to do is just put the blocks, drop them right on top of the stone here from the center spawn, which is zero, zero for me. So I'm going to go ahead in a straight line and just drop all of this granite right on top of this. And there we go. And then we're just going to go ahead out a little bit. Let's head all the way out here to this tree. All right. And let's just drop down. And we're going to go ahead and throw a chunk down here on top of this. I'm going to go ahead and bring my uh, chunk borders up once more because I kind of want to stay r right within this. But eh, you know what? Just stay right there. There we go. It's it's in this one. So we can just gotta go in that direction. We got to wait for this to despawn. Each one of those arms, guys, that you've seen on that goes out 13 chunks in each direction. Except for the one that we did cut off. That is nine. So I have to wait for this block to despawn. I'm going to go ahead and do that and measure out for all four. No good, sir. We're not interested in what you have to buy. Seriously, we're not. Ah, dang it. It, de it despawned. Let's go. All right. Which one of these still has blocks on it? You got blocks, you got blocks, you got blocks. What about you? No. All right. This one comes off. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 blocks long. All right, do this same exact thing over here. And if you guys need to locate center spawn, use a compass. I use NBT Explorer. All right, let's go. I probably should have grabbed a bed. All right, um, I can just grab a bed from here. T uh, no, not that one. Just give me a white bed temporarily. Hopefully I don't pick that block up. <laughs> You 
And there's the, there's the uh, stuff and things right there. We just need to be far enough away so that this block can despawn right here. That was too close for comfort. Okay. Then there's one more left. All right, I'm gonna wait for this to despawn, guys. All right, guys, so in case you guys are wondering how to locate your center spawn chunks, all right, what I did is I located, I did this, all right. I already know how, oh my gosh, I'm losing. Um, let's just get a, uh, let's just get out of this real quick all right let's let's get down here let's do f3 f4 and get back into survival mode here because i'm gonna do this thing legit i love to do everything legit so we're gonna come down here we're gonna go into my here we're gonna grab ourselves a bit of red redstone uh, we're gonna go inside of here where all my other stuff and things is drop that in there we're gonna make ourselves a compass there we go, just like that. That's gonna unlock how to make a map. And what we're gonna do, guys, is you, if you see how my compass is moving, and we move all the way over this side, um, get my silk touch pickaxe out of here real quick. All right, if we hold our compass, put that in the F screen right there, and if you follow this, uh, watch how the arrow moves. Okay, whenever this thing moves and it goes towards dead center, let's just pull this out of here real quick. It, all right. I move this way, move forward, it tells me this, move backwards, there it is. My spawn is at zero, zero. I found this out from looking at my uh, MBT Explorer, which is an app that you can find. And then once you find that, then you hit F3 plus G, and you count out 13 chunks in each direction. I mean, you go up so high, then you go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and F3, F4 back into a creative mode over here for a moment you count up x amount of height above where you're going where you're going to mine out at and you go ahead out all right mine is going south because i'm facing south right now south is 10 chunks for me going east is 10 chunks going west is nine chunks going north is nine chunks okay so once you get that thing taken care of then you go all the way out to the edge and you pick yourself a block okay any block that you want any block that you want all right let's say for example we want polished andesite all right let's go ahead and put this thing up here and we're gonna go ahead and hit F on this and hit E and let's get this thing out of here for right now um, we're going to go all the way out to the edge and this right here is where the edge of my, the thing is for me. Okay. What I want to do is I want to follow this out. So this thing told me that, okay, um, the game is going to slow down for me for some reason. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a moment, guys. All right, guys, before I got the game decided to crash on me, um, let's go ahead and F3 plus G once again. Um, we got to count out nine chunks in this direction and go ten chunks out in that direction, and then I can connect up this side to go to that one, and I can connect up this one to go to that one. Then from this one, we got to go out nine in that one, and then we got to connect up ten going out that way, and so on and so forth. So this side is mostly all tens, and this side should have two nines. So this is a nine, that is a nine. Then that one will be a nine going out that way, and a ten. And then the rest of these will all be tens over here on this side, equaling a twenty-one by twenty-one. What I want to be able to do with this, guys, when I cut this, when I finish this up, is out right here, right here, in these two chunks right here. This one right here is considered the twenty-one block radius in this chunk right here. Okay. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to create a passive mob farm inside of just one of these things. And we're going to count it all the way up to 70 mobs. And that will shut off all the passive mobs in the world. So long as we have farms out there somewhere of all the mobs that we need, it should shut off all the passive mob spawning in the world. Now, again, inside another one of these things, we want to be able to put in 70 shulker shells, not sh 70 shulker shells, but 70 shulkers and have them living inside of one of these things. But we want to be able to push them to and from each side. So if we want to turn on mob spawning, we can turn them on. Or if we want to turn them off, we can push them back and forth. I've seen this done on a Sidecraft server, and it's really, really cool how they did that. And in doing this, we could also turn off the fish spawning and all that other stuff and things. And I think it should work out really, really cool. What I'm going to go do, guys, is I'm going to build the perimeter going the entire way around this. And I think I'll cut back to you guys once I get the perimeter done. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so let me go ahead and get myself a little nappy nap here in a, in a minute. And I'll get the entire perimeter done. Hopefully the game doesn't crash on me. And I'll be back. All right, everybody. I got all of the uh, spawn stuff marked out. We're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and get all my stuff here back in my inventory slots where they kind of belong. Uh, let's see here. And Lorraine and the stakes. Uh, the compass and all that. We're going to go ahead and leave all that stuff alone. I got all this stuff marked out now. So one of the main things that I need to do is I need to get my butt all the way back over here towards the spawn thing. Uh, every single one of these things, if I hit the F3 plus G real quick, um, this thing is just basically showing me where all of the borders of all the chunks begin at and where they end so that whenever I go to uh, set down my... I can start to mine at. Um, maybe we mine this out by hand. Maybe we... I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. Do we mine this out by hand or how do we do this? I mean, because we got all that water down there, it's going to have to go. Um, literally, that's a lot of water. I mean, I might just leave it and just... I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of resources. All my stuff and things over here in spawn, it has to move. Um, our stalactites, they're kind of moving down there. They're growing away. <laughs> so F3 plus G, F3 plus D. I'm going to go ahead and turn all that off. Clear my inventory out. Let's drop down here. We Yeah. Yeah. We'll be able to get sand, finally. Uh, we'll be able to get sand, clay, all kinds of resources. Maybe we'll even be able to do a fish farm over here in the spawn chunks. All kinds of stuff and things. But for right now, one of the things that I want to do, guys, is I want to get out of the creative mode because that is not me. Um, I use the creative mode very low, very not too often. Um, I really don't like it. I'm not much in, I'm not much of a creative mode person. Um, I like to do everything in survival, but this thing right here, we need to build ourselves a ladder system to go up to that. And I need to move some stuff and things out towards our new base. Um, in our next episode, guys, I think what I want to do is I want to start having some stuff and things over there. I started moving some of this grimstone over there. Um, let's see here. We need all of this spruce. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just grab all of that. Um, we're going to grab some. Okay, maybe we shouldn't grab that much spruce. Let's go ahead and leave some of that over here. And see if we can grab all of the dark oak. As much of that as we can. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Tasty, tasty. One more spruce. Put that in there. All right. And dark oak. Bring that over. There we go. All right. So we got plenty of stuff and things. Um, I'm going to need to take myself a little bit of a nappy nap here real quick. Um, I do got some things smelting over here so that I can repair Lorraine up. Um, yeah. She's, she's smelting up some cobblestone. 
All right, our little thingamajiggy over here. No, let's not do that. All right, yeah, smelt up some cobblestone for us here. Um, I'm going to get this stuff and things moved over there, guys. Um, I want to try to move as much as I can over there so that we can get some, do some building over there. Uh, you know, I mean, this thing, I'm going to leave it running for right now. I mean, I'm going to leave some of the things over here for right now. I don't, I'm not going to rush myself through it. But getting the spawn chunks marked out is something that I really, really, really wanted to do. Um, getting the spawn, everything under control for uh, optimizing it is pretty good. We do have a road thing that... For making out, for making, oh my gosh, you know what, just ignore that. Um, <laughs> we do have a road thing for uh, working out with. Um, as we come out here, guys, you're going to see how big the spawn chunks are. They're going to come all the way out here, which means all of this, all of this perimeter, guys, it's going all the way down to bedrock from all the way out there to that corner. From to that corner, it's all the way out there, and it's it's going down to bedrock, guys. A lot of it is. Why am I not moving? There we are. Okay. Oh, it's my keyboard. It probably needs charging. Okay. So I'm gonna move this stuff out here, get some more grimstone out here, and next episode, guys, we're gonna start doing some building. Um, I want to get my new base up and going, and wish my keyboard would stop messing with me. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get our new base up and going, guys. Get our new base of operations up and going. I'm happy that thing's done. Okay, I'm happy that thing is done. <laughs> That's going to be a very big perimeter for us. I'll see if I can get a good screenshot of that for a thumbnail, but I'm going to go ahead and end today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um... Let's just end this over at our base. Our new one. Yeah. Past this really big tree over here. And we'll get some new animal farms up and some other stuff and things. And here's that trader that was bothering me earlier. Do you have, by chance, a jungle tree? No. Huh. Goodbye. Yeah. Um, no jungle tree, no deal. We will build a bridge at some point to get ourselves back and forth over here. Look at all these fishies. He. -he. Alright. So, yeah, this will be our base. This will be our base. We're going to do some skimming off the top, guys. We're going to build ourselves a really big fortress over here. And, yeah, we're going to build a really big fortress over here. The Fortress of Fortresses. It's going to take us a few episodes for that. I'm going to keep you guys away from the spawn chunks for the time being. And, you know, kind of keep you guys out of the loop on that one. And I'll bring you guys over there for updates here and there. But for right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I will see you guys on the flip side. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye for now. Bye.